прямой и боковой слева. His hands are like machetes that he uses to chop down his opponents. And his legs can be considered a weapon of mass massacre. Wakao Banchamek is a legend who deserves his own monument in the Thai Boxing Hall of Fame. His strength can be compared to Zeus's, and his speed is envied even by Hermes. This fighter, with the help of his composure and incredible killing power, sends his opponent to the kingdom of Morpheus. And today we're going to tell you about Buakau Banchamek's journey to the stars. Make yourselves comfortable, here we go. Buakau Banchamek was born on May 8, 1982, amidst exotic fauna, on paradise islands between majestic temples in the heart of Thailand. The Thai began learning the basics of Muay Thai from a very young age, and he has known nothing but a hell of a lot of training. Already at the age of 15, he was given the right to represent the poor Pramuk Hall and was sent to the professional ring, where only ashes remained from the bones of Buakau's opponents. But Buakau could not find a place among the iron monsters and ferocious clashes of Thailand. That's why he made his way out of the merciless Thai meat grinder and into the K1 tournament, where he was going to smash everything to pieces in his own manner. <laughs> the only thing is that he was left completely disarmed, having taken away from him his favorite moves from Muay Thai, elbows, knees, and work in the clinch with throws. But he was not confused, and with his hands like machine guns, went through hordes of enemies. And such mastery was not an accidental success. After thousands of fierce training sessions, any opponent was a simple warm-up for him. In each of his fights, he gave the audience a great massacre that was a real pleasure to watch, and the only one left unsatisfied was the beaten opponent. Buakau was almost at the top of his game, but another obstacle was standing in the way in the face of the reigning K1 champion. The reigning champion, Masato, nicknamed the Silver Wolf, was known for tearing his opponents to shreds, justifying his nickname to the fullest. He was a true assassin from the land of the rising sun. Apparently, his ancestors were skilled ninjas. But for Buakau, the wolf was just a puppy to be chased into a kennel. In the first few seconds, Masato pounced on the Thai monster and gave him a good thrashing. But something went wrong, and Buakau knocked the kamikaze down. With his powerful kicks, he starts hitting his enemy like a soccer ball. Masato looked like he was fighting a real kaiju who was about to turn him into a cake. With his sharp blows, the Thai beast sliced his opponent into tempura rolls. The fight was over, and Buakau was unanimously declared the new king of the K1 ring. After defeating Masato, the Thai faced three Japanese fighters in a row. It looked like the entire Yakuza had ganged up on him. But Tai wasn't that simple, and he did a separate Yubitsume ritual for each of them. This was just the beginning of his long winning streak. Like a reaper, Buakau took his scythe in his hands and began to mow down his opponents. But a new threat appeared on the horizon. It was a fighter from Tulip Country, a Dutch monster named Andy Sauer. No sour fight was without colorful bloodshed. This time he was going to make a bloody mess of Buakau's face. In the fight, it may seem that the fighters mixed up K1 and UFC and started wrestling straight in the ring. Sewer began to ruin Thai executioner's hopes of victory, demonstrating why he was given the nickname the Destroyer. But no party lasts forever, and Buakau made a quick recovery and entered a match he was going to win. Oh, 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 oh,
The Thai maniac was sure to get his hand raised after the fight was over, but the judges had other plans and decided to add an extra round, which the Thai clearly didn't like. In that round, Buakau kept getting top-notch punches out of his arsenal and testing them on his opponent. The fight was finally over, but unexpectedly for the Thai killer and the entire audience, the referee raised Sauer's hand. Buakau was furious at this robbery and vowed to himself that he would return the loot. He made his training session several times tougher so that next time no one would have any doubts about the winner. He was like a bounty hunter, chopping down every opponent on his way to sewer. And he didn't waste any time either, and realizing that he couldn't avoid meeting Buakov, he sharpened his skills. And now the hour of retribution had come, but the Thai's plan was to finish this fight much faster. From the first seconds, the fire that flamed inside Buakov kept Sewer breathless. <laughs> He used his wide arsenal of iron kicks in harmony with the power of his arms. The Thai Avenger unleashed all the anger he had accumulated on the Dutchman. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. No doubt about the winner this time. Buakau was dissatisfied with the K1 judges, so he decided to find a new organization. He had to leave his home club because of the owner's greed who wanted to take over his image rights. But in addition to the downs, there were ups. He launched his own club and also gained fame as an actor in the movie Yamada, the Samurai Ayothaya. Since Samurai has no goal, but only a path, he continued his march through other organizations. And now, it was time to conquer new peaks of the world of boxing. In 2014, he came to the Top King World Series 2 fitness party to show them how a true warrior should fight. He was given his strongest opponent, a two-time world champion known for his speed and knockout power. Australian Steve Moxon is the fighter with whom the legendary bout was about to take place. So the bad boy Badarhari has uh, become a kickboxing legend. From the first seconds, Buakau began shooting sparks out of his opponent, literally putting him through hell. Such a vivid demonstration of wild Thai power had already made an irreversible impression. The Thai torturer showed Moxon the true spirit of Muay Thai and its ferocious indomitability. Even though Moxon came from the home of the world's best boxers, those skills didn't help him against Buakau. <laughs> Moxon could barely stand on his feet, and the Thai fighter sent him to a well-deserved rest in a world of dreams. <laughs> After such a long winning streak for Buakau, he had run out of worthy opponents, and it was time to get over the Great Wall and start conquering the fighters of China. The doors opened for him in the Wulin Feng promotion, where fighters show real skill, merging in harmony with cold-bloodedness. The Thai Eliminator was immediately welcomed with open arms, and a local monk named Tai Lung was sent to him. From the first seconds, Buakau was filled with rage and a thirst for bloody combat. The Thai made it clear to the One Punch Man from Wish that one punch would not be enough. Tai Lung decided to cheer Buakau up with a couple of powerful punches, but he only woke up the beast in him. The Thai killer awoke a wild rage that made him pounce on Tai Lung like a tiger. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, don't. Toward the end of the fight, the Thai gangster decided to work on Tai Lung's wrestling moves, and it was a good thing that the bald man was not from the Brazzers, otherwise this parter would have ended unfortunate for Boakao. The spectacle was over, and the Thai champion struck fear into the head of every Wu Lin Feng Chinese. Boakao was recognized by the audience and became a true legend of combat arts. <laughs> He also became an iconic popularizer of his sport, alongside Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. The toughness of the Thai athlete really mesmerized everyone. He was like a warrior from ancient legends come to life. He started a new stellar journey of climbing the Olympus of the All-Stars organization. First in line to fight the Thai was Frenchman Azize Hlali, nicknamed the Magician. Hlali had come to Thailand specifically to get Buakau's head, but no one was going to give him a warm welcome. The ruthless Thai didn't believe in any tricks and was going to pierce the magician with his sharp-edged punches. Hlali's magical abilities were no longer helping him in the fight, so he had to cope on his own. Buakov didn't need magic wands and spells, as he was only aided by two deadly hooks. He'd cut his legs right down to his ass, and Hlali would only have to whimper and crawl away. One round was enough to make the Frenchman a breathless piece of meat lying on the floor. In his new organization, Buakau promptly extinguished the stars who performed there. And now there's a new upstart in his territory, Nicholas Larson, nicknamed the Dream Chaser. Oh, flying knee, that's it, that's it. Only the Thai Predator didn't have a dream. He had a path on which Larson was just another obstacle. From the first seconds of the fight, Buakau showed the true power of a hundred gladiators, fighting not for life, but for death. Larson had enough strength to drop his opponent, but with this, he only fueled the fire that blazed in the Thai warrior. Buakau was feeding Larson a lunch of non-stop punches. And after another series, Buakau sent the Dream Chaser into Dream World. Buakau Banchamek has dedicated his entire life to fighting. He went through pain and suffering in torturous trainings, escaped the brutal Thai slums, and became a true star. In addition to his popularity among Muay Thai and kickboxing, he has also gained a dash of Hollywood fame. He is an example to hundreds of Thai children, inspiring them to take up the sport and conquer the world. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.